Hey guys, Fushido of Team Bad Yugi's here with another Hoban format deck profile. This time we're going off of Bujins. And this specific list is actually pretty much Joey Cho's uh, first place ARG Vegas list from the March of 2014. Now, it's not entirely his list because there is one card change in the uh, main deck. And that is one Quillen. Because, um, unlike him, I know I'm going to be playing against a lot more skilled reigns and colossal fighters than he was. Due to the fact that that's what's popular when, they, when they're playing my decks. So it's a slightly different ratio. To make room for the Quillen, I cut, um, one of the, I cut the third upstarts just to keep it, you know, as inconsistent as possible. Um, but yeah, two Chaz, three Yamato, nothing special there. Two Turtle, two Hair, one Quillen. Uh, three Crane, one Honest. And then uh, two Veilers to round off the monsters. And then going moving to the spells here. We have three or two upstart goblin. If I were good I'd play three, but sadly I am not Joey Cho. Uh, three duality. We have three tanky and two carnation. And then we have two Kaiser Coliseum. Now I know that players later on in the format were starting to drop Kaiser Coliseum, but I feel that this card is just so mm, how do I put this light uh, nicely well remembered that I feel it'd be wrong to not play Kaiser Coliseum in my Bujin deck list. That's why I'm using his. Then we have one Dark Hole, two Lance, and of course three MST to deal with the skill drains and then the tankies. And then the traps, since there isn't that much room for traps, you only have room for six really. Just three Fiendish, then Bottomless, Torrential, and Warning. Moving on to the extra. Um... It is built for the mirror match, so we have triple Susanoo, uh, two Kagetsuchi, and one Tsukiyomi. And then here we have Crazy Box, Constellar Omega, M7 to put on top of Omega, 101, Paladynamo, Direwolf, Exiton, Maestroke, and Cowboy. Nothing all too special between all of these. Um, you'll notice that there is no Abyss Dweller, and that is um, just how he felt that Bujins didn't need Abyss Dweller, because why, you, why would you ever make Dweller? We can just make another Susanoo. It does the exact same thing as far as protections go for, I guess, stopping your opponents. If you want to play an Abyss Dweller, then I'd recommend taking out the third Susanoo. It's probably the least important card. But that's not for me to decide, because I'm not Joey Cho. I'm just playing these decks, trying to recreate uh, the 2014 format. But that's the deck. That was the profile. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the description box for any uh, good resources, links to other duels, other decks, other formats. You'll find those all there on the channel. Uh, until then, it's uh, Rushido of Team Bad Yugi's. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Club. And drop Honest on Susanoo for game.